Hello there, this is David Late. Welcome to the David Late Be Happy podcast. I hope life is finding you all fit and fine and happy. This episode is called Life. I want to talk a little bit about life and I want to start off by sharing this piece of advice for you. Do you know that life is a story? So make yours a bestseller. Make your story your life a bestseller. But remember this, because it's important. You can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last chapter. Move forward, move on. The past is a history. Live in the present and work on the future. Life, let's talk about life. Life is just a game. Do you know that? It's just a game. You've got to treat life like a game. And like any game, there are winners and there are losers. Life is great, isn't it, if you are a winner? Life is maybe a bit boring and mundane if you are a run-of-the-mill and average player. But if you is a loser, you know all about it because it ain't good. Now, life can be hard and unforgiving. It isn't easy life. But life offers us up prizes. Those prizes are your dreams. And it is possible, as Les Brown, that great speaker, says, it is possible for all of the dreams that you have for yourself to come true. But you know what? Life makes you work for those prizes Life makes you work hard for those prizes. It sets your tests because it checks out how badly you really want those prizes. It makes you work for them. And you know what? The bigger the prize, funny enough, the harder life sets the tests that you've got to go through to get those prizes. Remember this as we move forward. In the end, at the end of our life... We only regret the chances that we didn't take. So the advice is take your chances. Remember, your life needs you. Say every day you should get up to life. Come on, life. Bring it on. There's some things about life. Life, as we know, is full on, isn't it? Life is unrelenting and it is demanding. We all know that. Life is is not easy. How many times do we say that? Life can be harsh and brutal. Life is unforgiving. It's frustrating. It's pressurised. It's draining. And it can be all-consuming. Life, life will use you up. It will suck all of the life out of you. It'll crush you. And if you're not careful, life will bring you to your knees. Life will push you down and life will keep you down. Keep you feeling low in self-esteem, low in your morale, low in your belief and low in your outlook. What do you think about that then? But on the other hand, here's the flip to that. Yes, life is full on. Yes, life is unrelenting and demanding. Yes, life ain't easy. Yes, it's frustrating. It's pressurised. It's draining. It is all-consuming. But you know what? Life can be exciting. It can be exhilarating. And it can be fun. And it can be worth getting out of bed for every single morning. What makes the difference then? I hear you say. There's one thing that makes the difference. And that one thing is your mentality. Your mentality is how you view the world and how you view the challenges, the disappointments, the deadlines and the heartache that everyday living can throw your way. And as we know, life throws many things your way. One thing that you are given by life is choice. How you view the world affects the way that you see things and the choices that you make in life. 
Your mentality, your mentality determines the way that you deal with those things that come your way emotionally and how you feel around them. And this in turn determines your response to the way you go out and deal with those things, those issues or those challenges that come to you. You can see either opportunity or problem. You can see can do or can't do. You can see winning or overcoming or failing. It's your mentality that dictates the way that you travel through your life. You're going to be either a half glass full person or you're going to be a half empty glass person. I love this saying from a guy called Daniel Reardon and I don't know who he was but he said this in the long run the pessimist may be right but you know what the optimist has a better time on the trip (laughs) that's true isn't it who are you if you are a pessimist you will possess a negative outlook which if you leave it unchecked is going to hold you back in your life and will hold you back from achieving your objectives it will do that it will hold you back from achieving your objectives but the good news is this if you work on yourself if you work on your mind you can change that pessimistic outlook you can change those negative traits you can change the culture that's in you to be a more optimistic one to have more focus to welcome change you can do that and the more optimistic you become the more you increase your chance of a successful life think about that you know life is like a grindstone it's just like a grindstone if you put a stone to a grindstone it's going to do one of two things it's either going to polish it or it's going to pulverize it and whichever it does is dependent on how You position the stone against the grindstone. I hope you follow my drift. Because a subtle difference in angle, a subtle difference in the pressure that you use can make all the difference. It's the same in life. Because life will either polish you or pulverise you, depending on how you position yourself in life and against life. A subtle difference in how you view things think about this a subtle difference in how you view things or approach things a subtle change of approach or outlook can have a really i mean a massive and far-reaching change in your outcomes so no matter what your position in life is remember you have the choice and you've got the ability you've got the ability to change things and to step things up you can make changes for the better you can make significant improvements or you can make changes for the worst and you can take yourself to places that you wouldn't want ever to go to and remember you've got that choice that choice is yours life is life is a game Remember that. It's a game. And just like any other game, if you want to be successful at it and if you want to be a winner and if you want to take the prizes that is on offer, that's your dreams, then you need to focus on this game. You've got to role model the people who have been there, who've seen it, who have done it, who are wearing the T-shirts, like great business people, sports people, singers, actors, leaders, etc., 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 So study them, be like them and do what they did and practice, practice, practice. You've got to throw yourself into the game. Do you know, there are many, many people, you see them all the time, many, many people talk themselves out of taking part in games. They choose to be spectators instead of taking part. They choose to be bystanders. But nevertheless, they like to think that they are the experts in the game that they have chosen to just watch. You know those people, you know, stand around commentating on what should happen, when and how, passing comment and judgment. And they they become the critics, don't they? Talking other people out of taking part in the game of life themselves. You know... Few people volunteer to be a referee in a game, but many people stand on the sidelines or sit in the stands knowing better and criticising. With any game, there's a thing, remember this, with any game, it's one thing to watch, but it's a completely 
different experience to take part. It's a completely different experience to put yourself on the line, to put yourself out there onto the field of play, instead of sitting in the safety of the stands. It's a completely different experience to test yourself, to face up to the challenge, to use your courage, to use your dexterity, to use your tenacity and your skills, and to feel the elation of succeeding. You know what I mean? Of winning because you did it. Instead of that watered down second hand sensation that you experience through the success of others when you as a spectator just stood on the sidelines. You know the prizes that life offers up to you are the dreams that you have, the hopes, the expectations, the aspirations, the desires that you create for yourself. Life's prizes, your prizes are there for you to grab. But as I said, life ain't going to give them up to you easily. It don't work like that. That's not what life is like. That's not like what life is like in the big city. You know, life is not just going to say, it's not going to come up to you and just say, oh, here's all those dreams and prizes that you've been longing for. Here is that goal that you want to achieve. Here's your reward. You know, you, you ain't got to work for it. You don't have to study for it. You don't even have to put yourself out for it. You don't have to go that extra mile for it. Just enjoy it. Here's a surprise. That ain't gonna happen. Life is gonna go, trust me when I say this, life is gonna make you work for your prizes and your dreams. It's gonna test your desire. Life is gonna test your will. It's gonna test your hunger. Just to see how badly you want those things. Life is going to throw, for sure, obstacles in your way. Life is going to set you challenges and life is, is going to make you fail. Life is going to put you down to see, just to watch and see, if you're going to get back up again. Life is going to just test you to see if you are deserving. And you know what? I've already said it, the bigger the prize, the bigger the dream that you have, the harder the tests are going to be. Life will offer up your dreams and your prizes to you in a moment. But if you don't measure up to the challenge, life will just snatch those prizes away. Bam! Snatch those prizes of you away from you just as fast. But, here's the but, if you decide to go and get your prize, to go and get your dream, and you decide to go after it with all that you have, and you decide to put up with the frustration and to put up with disappointment and to deal with failure and to deal with pain and to deal with despair and to deal with fear. And if you decide to keep going no matter what, to see this thing through to the end and you use all your skills and you use all your experience and if you are prepared, if you are prepared to learn, if you're prepared to adapt and to change as you continue to work to work you know, to do the work towards your dream, that goal that you've got. If you're ready to continue to prove that you measure up to your dream and that you are deserving, as a very strange thing that will happen. Life, the universe, God, will decide it's going to help you. It will send you help and assistance. It will provide you with opportunities to learn and develop. It will send you mentors and role models. There's a very old saying which I love from the East, which goes like this. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So be it. If you, if you are ready, doors I promise will open for you. Opportunity I promise will present itself to you. You will feel yourself start to change wonderful feeling you will feel yourself starting to develop you will find ways of getting over your finishing line life itself will take on a new meaning for you and you will feel the difference you'll become a different person there's a saying that says one should always carry oneself and walk as a winner you will walk differently as you go about your business because you will be walking with purpose and you'll be walking with determination. And to quote Les Brown, you will walk with a 
different kind of spirit because you will know that there is something special and important for you to do in your life. And as you march towards your goal with the fanfare of trumpets blaring, can you hear them? You will have a sense of freedom as you feel the wind beneath your wings as you move forward towards your vision and your goal and your dream. It's a great feeling. I know that because I felt it. If you respect life and choose to live a good life, a great life, and you practice giving and you practice to be forgiving, life will respect you and give you your dues. I'd like just to end with this little sentiment for you as a piece of advice that you have got a choice in your life. Here it is. You can either take control of your life or you can let life control you. Thanks for listening. This has been Dave Late in the Dave Late Be Happy podcast. If uh, I hope you find these words uh, helpful. If you know someone that needs a word, a sentence or a phrase that maybe can help them to take them into a different uh, uh, place in their life, a happier place in their life, please share these words with those people. You can do that by subscribing and liking and sharing. Please do that and anything else that will get this podcast in front of as many people around the world as possible. That's my mission. Um, all that's left to be said is uh, stay safe because that's important in it. And I'm going to end, as I always do, by saying be happy be happy because if you're not happy what's the point thanks for listening i'll see you in the next podcast bye